Friday. Let me get a one. Uh-oh, Caramel Mocha already predicted what I was going to say. All right. Mr. Shro gave me a one. I see some newbies in the chat. How are y'all doing tonight? Plastic bag floating in the wind. How are you? Colette DeJure, Steph B, Cindy D. Everybody's here. Hey, Eve. Let's get right to the fucking topic. Ladies, Um, <laughs> this is the deal. All right. To the newbies, y'all going to uh, be here, right? At some point, you're going to hate my guts, but then you're going to come back because life be life and right? You'll hear some shit over here. I'm just warning you. You're going to hear some shit over here and be like, that bitch, DZ, da 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 Then you're going to experience it, and then you're going to bring your ass right back. And then we're going to go ahead and chop it up again because that's what we do. Again, happy Friday, ladies. It's been a lot of mess going on, and I just... <laughs> I'm just so surprised at all the clutching of the pearls again. I'm not, we did a private live on Diddy. I'm not even fixing to go over him again. He'll be mentioned, but fuck him right sideways and twice on Tuesday. This is the thing. It's a whole bunch of people out here fucking with y'all. Not in a good way. They fucking with you, taking you for granted, right? And just, you know, throwing you up as shields when shit go down. You know, I'm seeing some women still having issues with Becky, and all that shit here. Let me go. Let me see who this is in the back first. And then solitude, I'll check on you in a second, okay? Because I, I need to share my screen. Because we finna get it popping tonight. All right. No, not the extra camera. I don't know what this is. They change back here in StreamYards. But do not fuck with me. Not at this time. 
All right. I ain't been up here in a minute. I'm lost. Oh, share screen. Here we go. Divest 2023. Damn, this shit been up here that long. Let me know when y'all can see the screen because it is what it is. All right. How you doing down there, PYT? You must be around my, my age because that, that was an old Michael Jackson song, unless your name is Pitt. <laughs> I pull up. Anyway, let's get to the goddamn meat and potatoes. Ladies, I saw some really disturbing shit when it came to this right here. I really did. Okay. First, there was, oh my God, it's a man out here punching people. You know, there was a couple of mammies that thought this could have possibly been a white dude. Okay. Because it's always a hope that come on white boys do some more crime so we could literally say that black men it, it, they ain't no worse than white men they they be rooting for the shit nobody knew who it was several women had tiktoks up crying showing bruises and all types of stuff because you know they had got punched in the face by a random motherfucker I, i've been hollering about random crime that dusty's do for years for years but you know it's me picking on black men but what the fuck ever let's get this shit popping so they made an arrest. Uh, just look at it, okay? A lot of it is still up under investigation, but it's been confirmed that he's done several of these before. This man is disgusting, and that's whoever this skabuki, sk skaboki motherfucker is. Like, he's been attacking women. Ladies, black men suck dick down to the base, Okay. They really don't have any interest in women like that. You actually frustrate the shit out of them. But you also have a purpose. Pull up. You're there for them when they fall out. You're there for them to go ahead and stick up for their, you know, their fuckery. You're always falling on swords for them. So they don't get rid of you completely. But sometimes they get a little frustrated and they go ahead and take you out. Your unaliving rate is still holding steady at around four, four and a half hours. I just need you to know that shit. Okay. And with the way things are going, it's probably going to go higher or, and, and you're going to be unalive more quickly. But hey, what, what's new, right? So here's the deal. Let me scroll down just another taste. And let me tell you what was very frustrating that I saw from black women. When the pictures of the TikToks came out, now all of a sudden you're not interested in a man punching women. Y'all better get over Becky. All right. You better get over it. Because here's the thing, before he went on ahead and started punching on Baxter, you, he was punching on you. I brought a receipt, you're interested, so you can calm your little ass, your fucking nerves down. Because every time you see a Becky victimized, right, you don't give a fuck anymore. But stay hollering about them not caring about black women being alive. It's very, very weird to see. Okay, let's um, go ahead and get this popping. Let's go. I feel safe right now. I went all the way on the other side. Democrat. He followed me and started recording me. Democrat. I switched the camera out my face, and that's when he started hitting me. <laughs> you crazy. And he hit multiple times. Yeah, okay. Slow down. What you in the verse for? What you in the verse for? Pay attention so you won't walk into people. Let me ask you this, uh, Mammies. Does it make you feel any better that he started with his punches with you? <laughs> Y'all are weird, right? Black men do not like you and they don't like women in general. So you ought to stop feeling away whenever there's a black man involved and then there's a Baxter involved. It has nothing to do with you. It's already been established that he doesn't like you. But there's a receipt right there that he started with you and there's several more. OK, but it sounded really familiar to me when I saw that he was practicing on your black ass first. Right. I'm like, hmm, why does this sound familiar? Pull up. Pull up. Can somebody in the chat go ahead and name this man, please? Can someone, because, you know, we got YouTubers out here, black male YouTubers, to be exact, 
that used this picture as their default pick because he's a Black Panther. Does anybody? Thank you, Kyra. Eldridge that is Cleaver. Yes, ma'am. That's Eldridge Cleaver. Well, why you got Eldridge Cleaver up here? First of all, I'm throwing shade over there at the man that you know uses this man as his default pick because it's disgusting to claim that you're pro-black and also use this default pick. It's very disgusting. Well, why? Why is that disgusting? Well, Eldridge Cleaver, he wrote a book. <laughs> All right, Soul on Ice. Those of you that have went to college and all that good shit, you know what this book is, okay? If you took any electives, you know, prerequisites just to fluff up your, your tra you know, your transcript and go ahead and, you know, get to your major, but whatever. In that book, Eldridge Cleaver, he literally admitted to practicing SA on black women in the hood, what he called the ghetto. So that he can become perfect at it, so he can then go essay white women. I don't know what's wrong with y'all, but y'all need to get over these black men. They have stated over and over again, this shit was in the 50s, right? Here we are in 2024, and their, it, th their way of operating has not changed, okay? You are a safe space to do all their fuckery and practice bullshit and very nasty things. And then they get to who they really want. You shouldn't give a fuck about who they really want because fuck them. That's why I pull up on me. Aaliyah, you got anything? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm just not getting why black women seem to be so dismissive of violence against other races of women. Even if these are not your favorite women in the world, I don't see how you still don't see how disturbing it is for this these random men from your community that's supposed to be your counterparts walking around and just randomly assaulting people. Like you just literally could be walking there. These women are literally walking down the street maybe on a phone, texting, whatever it is. And then this random person is just walking up from what I'm seeing based on these TikTok videos that they're just walking up, punching them dead in their shit. And I'm like, but the, what's really disingenuous about this is they try to pretend like they don't understand why people have a fear of them. So when people start locking their doors when you come around or clutching their purses or whatever it is that they're doing, don't try to pretend like that's not warranted or that reaction is not justified because it absolutely is. That part. What's happening, Mrs. Rowe? Good evening. Happy Friday, everyone. Nice. You know, it's very interesting that you should bring this motherfucker up because I'm gonna drop a tidbit that y'all might not know. It is alleged that he is a descendant of one Marcus fucking Garvey. And we all know Marcus Garvey arranged a hit on a black woman who dissented from him and disagreed wholly and called him a fucking fraud. So I expect nothing. I expect nothing different from any one of his fucking descendants. My question to black women is, what do you win when they're attacking other women? Because all you're doing is basically making you look stupid as fuck before the world. I believe it was in 2020. Let me take y'all back in time. Who was out there screaming BLM Black Lives Matter? Who was out there screaming when old dude got beat like a fucking pinata? I am a man. It's always you on the front line trying to prove their humanity and them making you look stupid before the world showing they have no humanity. I don't know when or what it's going to take, but I don't have time to figure it out. I just want you bitches and these niggerin and these niggas to stay the fuck away from me. Far the fuck away. That part. What's going on, Ebony? God, um, <laughs> it's not only that they're trying to uh, protect the fellas, they're trying to protect their manhood of what they think it is. Um, and, you know, I don't, the first to be a victim, the last to be chosen, thinking about that, ladies, the, mm. the first to be a victim, they'd rather victimize you over anything, but <laughs> and never chosen. How about that? Not even last. Never. Listen, I, why? Why would? Why? I never understood it. Why? Ladies, Gorgeous black you, women. Let this. me give you a tidbit. Let me let me give you a little tidbit. Black women, you can't be out here being nonchalant and not caring when other women get attacked. Because when you get attacked, you start saying, "Well, don't nobody care about us, ladies." All that bullshit from back in the day. That's over. We in a world where nobody is going to respect the fact that your people was fucking slaves. Pull up. So you're going to have to play the game, okay? At least pretend like you give a fuck if you actually don't give a fuck. 
You cannot have it both ways where you don't give a fuck about other races, but then want other races to come and care about you. Uh, that's some that's the way a five year old thinks they, they want everybody to share with them, but don't, don't want to share with nobody else. It's just simply weird. But check it out, y'all. He sat up here in the middle of him doing this shit because he's been doing it for a little while. Um, he wanted to make sure he had y'all in pocket. So he tried to come on and say, you know, that you're beautiful. But he ended up dissing you at the same time. I need you to take a look at this. Let's go. Yo, Playboy, something in the supermarket yesterday, you know what I mean? So I see this little sexy little chocolate thing come through, you know what I mean? Got everything strong, what? With that designer on, what? So I'm like, yo, boo, I'm Skabokhead, Marcus Carvey, great, great grandson, what? I'm with the Alphas, man, from the Dark Tribe. So I asked Shorty, follow me on Instagram, you know what I mean? So she followed me, I follow her back, da 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 so I hit Shorty up. I'm like, yo, oh, I didn't get a chance to ask you for your number, ma. So Shorty was like, yo, I got a man. I hope I didn't confuse you about da da da. So I'm like, nah, boo, that's good, man. Like, you got a man, that's good, ma. I thought you were single. You feel me, dogs? So she was like, nah, I'm not single. I'm like, ma, I love when I hear black females with a black man. Because a lot of black brothers I know, they ain't dating black females, what? But I'm so happy for you, ma. Yo. She blocked me on Instagram, dogs. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? This nigga don't even know how to pander correctly. Ladies, this is a hot ass mess. And excuse Puffy from down there dancing. I just didn't want to have all that disgusting gorilla chest showing up here. He looks like he's been put together with like a, a, a what is it called? A fucking what is it? A pastel paint? It, it's he just looks disgusting. His shit's still up on TikTok. If you interested in gorilla chess, I just didn't feel like seeing it because I saw it already, and the shit is fucking disgusting. Ladies, you cannot do this at all. Do not let them pander to you, sexy that chocolate thing. But this is not what he wants. What I want to get to, and I'm getting ready to get to the rest of the ladies on the panel. Ladies in New York, y'all took him seriously. He was getting ready to run for mayor until the white people disqualified him. Ladies, when I tell you mammies are out of their fucking mind, please, please stay away from the motherfuckers. Please and thank you. Anybody that's a black woman that has anything nice to say about the black community, oh, she kind of not, she not there mentally. What's going on, Snapple Apple? Hey, y'all. Uh, hey. <laughs> happy Friday. Happy Friday. Um. So I always love to take the opportunity to drag the weirdo, uh, preference obsessed <laughs> black women. Y'all bitches are weird. Um, I saw this uh, story circulating, and it reminded me of um, when uh, those critters were knocking people upside the face with skateboards and throwing them in dumpsters and stuff. And I'm not surprised to hear that black women were being nonchalant, dismissive about it because it was happening to another group of women. I think that is extremely sick and demented of them. And I'm going to drag y'all weird ass bitches every time we have these examples come up. And then um, for these violent degenerates that are running around here um, committing these acts and assaulting people. Um, don't nobody better play the mental health card. I saw someone in the chat say that's what they're trying to claim with this idiot. Um, it looks to me like, um, their, their black leaders and figures, um, have, you know, they, they're following the, the, the pro black, it's, you know, it's very violent and degenerate, you know, it needs to be banned. I'm glad they were trying to ban critical race theory and all that because it's just nasty and degenerate and it's te it teaches this nonsense and they all need to go to jail that's what's up i can look somebody in the chat put i thought calling women chocolate was fetishizing ma'am when a black man do it look these women they literally act like they didn't just say five minutes ago that when white men call you chocolate is fetishizing bitch move around that's what you do what's going on miss kyra Good evening, DZ. Good evening, ladies. Good evening. Now, to be fair, though, uh -oh. given it, <laughs> now, it, is this track record really any different than any black male, other black male po politician we've come across in the past? No, they're always on some fuck shit. So I could see why a mammy would think that he's a good candidate. I mean, just look at the track record of black men in politics before him. Like, that's just rent, wash, rinse, and repeat, in my opinion. That part. 
What's going on, Shane? Shane done in, in, into the chat. What's happening, boo? Hey, DZ. Hey, ladies. Hey. Um, for this uh, skibbity pap here, um, <laughs> I don't. Why does he? Why was he sounding like he had a stroke and like the whole left side of his face wasn't working? Like that is just who would listen to him in the first place? But Black I said it, it, it's it's horrible what he has been doing to Baxter. But the one good thing that will come out of this is that maybe this will finally mobilize Brad to get this shit together and start wiping these motherfuckers out. This is crazy. You can't just get around. You you just can't get away with just attacking white women like that. It's just it's just not happening. I'm just so surprised that it, it hasn't been shut down yet. That part. I want y'all to remember he practiced on you first. You know what's odd about mammies? That would make them feel better, okay? They want to be included with black men in any capacity. They don't care what it is. Even if it's knocking you across the fucking face, right? As long as he's paying attention. Mind you, in that last little clip I just played, he didn't forget to remind you that black men don't like you. I, I, I'm proud to see at least one black woman with a black man because, you know, brothers ain't dating black women like that. He didn't, he, yes, ma'am. He called her a female. He didn't even give her mm. outside her bodily autonomy. She's a woman. A female is a dog or a frog. She's a woman. These motherfuckers, that's another, that's a key right there that lets me know that motherfuckers are not serious about anybody in their orbit. When a man calls me a female, he's as good as fucking dead to me. That part. By the way, he's not the only one that's doing that. This is the second nigga that's punching people in the face. You want to talk about it or no? And why are y'all sons out here looking like psychopaths? They can't even look at the camera. Bitch, you did it. Take on it and look at the camera. Hell, smile if you got to with your weird ass. But you got black men running, running around here, knocking bitches the fuck out. Okay, knocking them the fuck out. Aaliyah, was you trying to say something? Oh no, I just was saying, make no mistake about it. He meant that as an insult. He was not trying to compliment her at all. He was trying to say, well, black men, you since black men normally don't holler at black women anyway, you should be grateful. I was even trying to get at you. And that was his way of trying. That was a clap back because she was trying to let him down easy by telling him she had a man because she most likely didn't. She just didn't want to be bothered with his ass. And she knew she couldn't say that outright because a lot of black women walking around scared of these niggas they don't want to admit it but that's why they walking around here giving out all kind of fake information suggesting women download all kind of apps to give yep. out fake numbers and trying to wear fake rings because they even they know and now ain't none of that shit keeping these niggas off of you they will not take no for an answer they don't care if you have a man or not that man shit used to mean something so they so now what they're doing they're they're just afraid to turn them down so she thought that by saying okay well i'm already in a relationship and his clap back was to come back and be nice nasty but make no mistake about it he meant it as an insult and she knew that too that's why she blocked his ass these niggas are crazy y'all keep it up keep it the fuck up and i'll always have content unfortunately i would love for you black women to shut me the fuck down how about everybody divest and then i could go ahead and click terminate channel and then go ahead and just move on with my motherfucking life pull up but every time i turn around i get sent at least 50 fucking incidents whether y'all being robbed beat down unalive whatever right I don't have time to get to them all, so do me a favor. Huh? Stop fucking with them, and I'll stop talking about your niggas. Um, Solitude, are you dusty? No, ma'am. Still not dusty. What's going on? I just wanted to say, we all know that they love attention. They don't get in the news for anything positive, so anything that they can do to get in front of people's faces, they'll do it. On top of that, any black woman who has ever tried to do anything with her life knows for a fact that Becky is her number one customer. Because she has the spending power, she has the buying power. So it's in our best interest to protect Becky. Mm. I don't know. That's gonna be that. Yeah, I ain't protecting. Nobody. I don't know about protecting her though. <laughs> I, I ain't she, gonna she, protect she, nobody. Never I, mind. I, no, <laughs> darling. No. I'm gonna dissent from that as well. No. Uh, Becky got plenty of protection of white men. You are the Thank one without you. protection. Mm -hmm. uh, you are your own sovereign nation. So protect you. You have no allies. Uh, I'm not getting I, ready to protect look, the soul. Fuck I, all of that shit. 
I get what you mean, but we're not Mammy and Becky is not Miss Scarlet, so no. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Woo! All right. That was interesting. Anyway, let's get to what you came here for. Right? Right? Huh? Ladies, first of all, can I ask y'all a question? And it's kind of off topic. Who told these celebs and these wannabe celebs out here that that white wall that these bitches call teeth look good? That shit looks like drywall. It looks like the outside of a white house. It looks like you don't have bottom teeth. This shit looks ridiculous. So many people that are quote unquote famous or like viral YouTubers or whatever you want to call these motherfuckers. What's up with this goddamn typewriter in front of your fucking face? I, I can't stand it. It looked crazy as hell. Anyway, now that that's over with. So y'all know what's been going on with Diddy. I ain't going over that bullshit. I'm not. This is 50 Cent, okay? Um, What does that have to do with anything? Well, his baby mama, because that's exactly what she is. She did not end up somebody's wife. She's his baby mama. He was there. He was with her for like a year. Y'all, he did the same thing that he did, did to black women to this woman, but whatever. Um, Come to find out, allegedly, in Diddy's paperwork and things that have been filed in the courts, this bitch was one of the sex workers that went on down. I'm calling cap on uh, 50 cents not knowing that shit because I'm, I'm, I'm going to get there, ladies, all right? He's trying to get uh, custody of his son because he found out, quote unquote, found out, right? That this bitch was a sex worker up in Diddy Camp. Uh, this motherfucker's lying his ass off. He knew good and goddamn well who the fuck this bitch was. So, again, he's trying to get custody because he found out she was a sex worker. 50 Cent, um, if this somehow makes it back to you, your big head ass is lying. You knew good and goddamn well that this bitch sold coochie on the side. That's how you ended up with a fuck nigga. It is what it is. But I digress. Let's keep going. So, in response to that, right? She went on ahead and told his business about how he R-worded her. Listen, this is the thing. All of these people are incredibly fucked up. If you have anybody that has an affinity towards that community that includes these Asian bitches and whoever, they're generally fucked up people because the culture that exists in the black community is that of degeneracy, poverty, victimization, and then victimizing other people, okay? It is what it is. So, yeah. Notice that when he found out that she was a, when he found out, yeah, okay, he was, she was a sex worker, um, his clap back was, you little sex worker, I didn't know you were a sex worker, you little sex worker, um, innocent enough, right, innocent enough, but I'm getting somewhere with this shit, let's go, so Daphne's his ex, but so is Vivica, he handled Vivica in a completely different manner, even though Vivica, with your mammy ass bitch, haven't been, you know, accused of being anybody's sex worker. It just is what it is. He clowned the shit out of this woman, ladies, talked about how she smelled, talked about all this shit here, and she didn't accuse him of anything. He just wanted the smoke, all right? So while this is going on with you and the, the Asian bitch, right? He couldn't, he had to get the frustration off of him. So he went to swinging on Vivica again, because who else better to pick on when you're frustrated than a black woman, because she's not going to go anywhere. Vivica's still out here mammying and taking up for black men, even though her jobs are coming from white people. Pull up on me. Uh, listen, y'all, this shit is crazy as hell. She had nothing to say about this man, but sitting there being his black ass ex got her pulled into this nonsense because black men can't stand you. All right, let's keep going. I wanted to uh, correct that picture. I don't know why they use this picture next to her picture like that, but this is what this dog actually looks like. This motherfucker looks disgusting. He, he just, it looks like half his face is fucking melting off. But anyway, ladies, do y'all remember when Vivica Fox, when they broke up, she was making rounds questioning his sexuality. I got questions. So 50 Cent, you're going to claim that you didn't know anything about all of that, you know, down to the base in P3DO bullshit that's going on with Puffy. 
and you coincidentally got one of his prostitutes pregnant, right? But coincidentally, back in 2015, your sexuality was being questioned. Ladies, black men suck it down to the motherfucking base. I don't give a fuck what you think. I don't care how good you've been fucked by one. Make no mistake about it. The reason that terms like no homo and all that shit with them, they are literally dick suckers. Pull up on me. What you got, Mr. Shrove? Oh, I got a lot with um, two shekels and his bobbleheaded ass. That motherfucker like it's a hard melted. To talk about this because you it know, is. Uh, over here it's hard to talk about. That's why I hate coming out here. God damn. Me too. I have so much I want to say, but I'm gonna keep it light and kind of tight tonight. All right. Oh, I'm a rapper. Look at me. Anyway, for two shekels, he need to shut the fuck up because last I checked, motherfuckers was always questioned whether or not you like to. You got a little swish down river, as the old folks say. I don't know why anybody. Every time one of these something happens within the community, and then one of these stupid motherfuckers step forth. Last time it was Cat Williams, so we just gonna ignore all the fuck shit he did. Now it's Fifty Cent who's just trolling two shekels with his bobbleheaded ass. I'm like looking like a goddamn trigger fish out here just st scrolling and then trolling through people's lives and thinking the shit is funny. Sir, you knew that woman was selling pussy because you was probably the chief buyer among the pussies. Hey. So let's, uh, let's not be, let's stop playing in my face here. I'm really tired of y'all lifting these motherfuckers up like they're divine oracles. Like, oh, they knew something was going on. They knew this, they knew that. Of course they did. And they, they probably participated in it at one point. And I'm not shocked at all to learn that this woman is a sex worker. He knew she was a sex worker. Hell, I'm going to be real with you. I think all those motherfuckers are weird as fuck. And that's coming from somebody who actually likes music. I don't understand what the hell these celebrities think they're doing. And I don't know why black people are popping this motherfucker up. 50 Cent. There's a reason why he got bang bang nine times. And I'm going to leave that right there. <laughs> What's up, Aaliyah? Oh, oh don't you hate <laughs> <laughs> I told you anytime, Mr. Jackson, anytime. Because, you know, me and 50, our beef go way back. Um, How quickly you forget, sir. I, I told you since you think you're the master troll, I'll show your ass how to troll. And if y'all want to watch that video, just scroll back. Um, With your 50, with your broke dick ass. You're back. See, now he's back hounding women again. But first things first, you can't get custody of a child based on allegations when a mother hasn't been convicted of any crimes and your personal feelings about what she does really don't matter, sir. I'm calling your bluff. First of all, you have to first prove that she's an unfit mother or a danger to the child. And if she hasn't done anything that negatively affects the child, then you can't just simply take the child away from the mother just because you're salty about her fucking another man. And if I were her lawyer, you wouldn't say another fucking word because I would just tell the judge and jury that you're nothing but a scorned man with a botched penile implant. And you're just only <laughs> retaliating because you're impotent and jealous. So you're retaliating because you're impotent and jealous and she's fucking your arch nemesis. And that's why you're doing this. That isn't against the law, Mr. Jackson. So grow up. And if you want, you know, if you wanted to deny that claim, her lawyer could just have the court issue a subpoena for your medical records to prove that it was a lie. And I mean, since you're discussing her sex life all over social media in an effort to embarrass her, I think your record should be subpoenaed to support her legal argument as well. Because, you know, since you wanted to talk about her sex life, I would talk about how you can no longer perform knowing that you got a damn penis enlargement because you needed it and now you're angry because you can no longer maintain an erection so now you're being jealous and vengeful and trying to take her child away that's only fair right so please 50 make my year and let that woman finally be able to prove once and for all that you really don't have the magic stick <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I couldn't do it. I got to get my popcorn because they are these people are funny as hell. This shit is better than cable television. It's so fucking weird, y'all. Look at your screen. He didn't say all of this shit about homegirl that he trying to take to court. Look at how he dragged Vivica. This is what I mean. This is a good, a very good example as to how they view you versus other women versus other men. All right. Uh, Vivica saw some shit in there So he went on ahead and started clowning How she looked Oh isn't that new Oh you need to go natural Oh your boobs look terrible Oh, Look Vivica lady let me tell you something Please stop chopping, chopping up your face 
you are starting to scare me with the way you looking. I don't know where your neck is going. It's disappearing. It's starting to look like you got some shit going on. Uh, you should divest, right? Because you're trying to keep up with what black men like in, in women. And that is just not the T, ma'am. Sorry, not the fuck. Sorry. What's happening, Snapple? Hey, so G unit, right? That's that's gorilla unit, right? So like right, YouTube, right. YouTube guidelines and all, like, come on, I could call him anyway. Anyway, I'm not gonna <laughs> go there. But um, yeah. <laughs> Lee already dragged him to the pits of hell. He's always uh, coming at women. I, you know, I'm ready for him to have his day. He has some audacity acting like he's on some high horse and like he's untouchable. Um, this woman that he's trolling right now um, filed charges against him in 2013, domestic violence uh, charges or whatever. So um, it's, it's time for his uh, Pandora's box to open up as well because uh, his shit ain't clean either. And um, But you know, the Blacks always want to have somebody on a pedestal. Uh, they think that that one random, you know what, is the morality police. And it, it, it ain't two quarters. It's not. Absolutely not. He's down with that weird ass lifestyle too. I saw a picture somebody posted earlier somewhere with him with his arm around another rapper looking real cozy. So I'm just like, you know, don't try to don't troll too much because you you was you look like you was over there too, um, in that little lifestyle. And your name might be popping up in them lawsuits as well. Look, so. I believe everything she said about that because Vivica is a hardcore mammy. I mean, she's hardcore with her mammyism. So she not going to throw a black man up under the bus like that. She'd rather, you know, lose her nose, lips, and, and half her goddamn neck trying to keep up with the shit. So I believe every word she said because um, down to the base, that's what these black men give. Point blank the fuck, period. What's happening, Kyra? Oh, well, I just wanted to bring up, just like you covered this before, but Eating a nigga's ass will not keep him because then Vivica <laughs> eat his ass and he still dogs it out like this. <laughs> okay, Kyra, <now. laughs> but th she admitted it. She oh, said that she, she ate his booty. She did. Kyra, I forgot all about that. Oh, Vivica, you got booty tongue. She did eat his ass. Ladies, um, news flash. Thank you, Kyra, because I forgot about that. Vivica Fox, she admitted to eating that man's ass. Oh, where are we going? Why are I, right, I, I, I'm just, <laughs> I am so goddamn. For, so I'm, just, get, I'm just get picturing it, though. I'm picturing so that bitch down there eating his ass. Ah. Let me get this straight. So bitches is eating ass and being literal human porta johns for these motherfuckers to piss on. Where are we going? Where is the bottom? Someone please tell me. There is no bottom, and I think we need to develop a toothpaste, a mouthwash, <laughs> some... No, no, listen, because to help with the germs, to help with the smell, to help with... Because, I mean, and black women got it going out of both ends. It's bad. I mean, we need some hygiene products for them, the ass eaters. You know what I mean? Ebony, Aaliyah, y'all are the medical professionals. Y'all could, you know, link up and develop something for the mammies. I yeah, anti-ass. Yeah, anti-ass. There you go. I was yeah, about anti -ass. To say, I don't know what clear shit mouth, but anti-ass. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Boy, <laughs> listen, y'all getting freakier and freakier. They it's not going to change them. Black women, unless you grow a big old dick, you ain't gonna be able to keep that dude. Not no black dude. That's not what he's looking for. You are the couch, right? The protesters. Basically, to come for them, the, the ladies, they don't like you. I don't know what to tell you. You need to divest. I wish y'all loved y'all self more. I'm just imagining a black dude turning around, dropping his pants, and he like booty first in front of you, and you like, come here, let me, you know, spread. Oh, you know they don't like to Ooh. wash, DZ, because some of them said wiping their asses was gay. <laughs> okay, so oh. now we need a special dentist. We need a special dentist. <laughs> To deal with this oral hygiene, because this is the, things are coming in there that shouldn't. I mean, I. So, but you know, that's also probably a way that Vivica had suspicions about his uh, switchness, shall we say? Because if you're, if she since she was eating his ass, she probably noticed that it was a little too loose, just you know, on its own. I roll. Like, <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Oh my god, y'all. I just I can't. 
I can't. Ladies, those of y'all that are younger in here, before the ass eating became a thing, this thing took place in stages, ladies. It took it took place in stages. Women were bragging about licking the taint. I'm looking at the chat. Does everybody in the chat know what the taint is? They was doing this to black men as well. With they were building up to the booty, right? Does anybody know? Look, the, the chat's slow over here on, on StreamYard. I'm trying to see if y'all know what is the taint that is. Is skin between the ball sack and ass hole? Bingo. Ding, 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 okay, ding. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So that was supposed to be freaky back then. But when you, black woman, you really can't freak out no nigga. You really can't. So it, they had to go back a little bit further and get that anus popping. I don't know. And I'm scared to see where y'all going next with this shit. Because ass eating seems like the ultimate to me. Hmm. But I'm seeing y'all letting these niggas spit in y'all mouth at concerts too. Pull up on me. Who who wants to smoke? What? Is, what? Where are you getting this? You're killing me here. My inbox is always on fire. It's always. Oh, yeah. That was a big glob of, of spit too. I, mm -hmm. I mean that he just. Mm -hmm. I'm I just the camera. He just he hocked the loogie. I mean, and she just enough that cheesing and her mouth wide open and smiling and just. I'm like, yeah, they do anything. I can't, y'all. Y'all are the clowns. Go ahead, babe. I'm sorry, Shane. See, now y'all, now I don't want to eat out anymore because I don't want to risk, <laughs> you know, <laughs> ended up with some type of utensils that these motherfuckers didn't use. I'm <laughs> done with going out to eat now. I'm just going to cook everything from home. I can't. Y'all remember in the 90s when they had what they call it, uh, what was it, mad cow and foot and mouth disease? I guess it's ass mm -hmm. and mouth now. Oh, oh well. Ass, foot, and mouth disease. <laughs> Go ahead with your black power self, mammy, with your nasty ass. I don't like them touching nothing. Okay, gloves, gloves. Don't don't touch nothing. Don't sit on my chair. Don't no. Y'all bring out the 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 plastic forks and shit because this bitch says she hungry. And if she put any of that lip, that herpified motherfucking mouth around my, that, we gonna have to throw that silverware away. Ladies, check it. Uh, the Miami News is they trolling y'all. Okay. Usually when somebody dies, no matter the race, right? If they can get a hold of the family, they'll talk to the family and, oh my God, we missed her. She was, you know, the type of person that, notice they describe everybody the same. She was the type of person that would give you the shirt off her back. Her smile lit up a room and all this shit. And I was telling my husband the other night, you know, they describing all these women the same way. Maybe women should stop being the person that light up the room because they getting put in the dirt, bitch. They getting put the fuck down. But they always describe them a lot, alike. So check it. This dude went down to Miami and of course the nigga, he couldn't swim, of course. But what do you do when you can't swim? Well, of course you jump on a boat with no fucking life vest. That's what you do because, hey, it is what it is. He didn't make it. But I'm telling you that the news is trolling you black women, mammies in particular. I'm not going to say shit and I promise not to stop this. Y'all need to see these women that they interviewed about this dude. Also, notice down to the base, and y'all put some hearts in the chat when you notice down to the base of rainbows or some shit. Let's fucking go. Six Tonight, we're hearing from the friends of the man who drowned in the Miami River last weekend. The 23-year-old visiting from Mississippi was a trucker, but was planning to join the police academy after that vacation. Jamie Garola is live in Miami tonight with this exclusive. Jamie. Yeah, one of the victim's friends says he was hesitant to make the trip to Miami. Now she says she wishes he never did. I'm in disbelief. But I wanted this to be like a prank. I wanted this to be a prank. Like, it's unbelievable that you can be here one day and gone the next. Days after a 23-year-old drowned in the Miami River, his friends are still trying to understand the tragedy. That's my best friend. Like, it's hard to take that in, like, Somebody you planned your whole life with. Somebody you know since you was little. Somebody you talk to every day. On Sunday, around 3.30 in the afternoon, the FWC says Trevante Johnson, or Vaughn, as his friends called him, fell into the water near the mouth of the Miami River from a chartered boat. Several people tried to rescue him, but couldn't. He was unresponsive when divers found him at the bottom of the river. I really can't believe it. I just really wish that somebody could have saved him. If I was there, 
I lied. Fuck me. I lied. Y'all, they trolling you. Do you see these bitches that they interviewing? They made sure the eyelashes was crooked, that these bitches can barely talk. I, yeah, I, I, he was a really good person. I, I hate that he was down to Florida. And I would look at this shit. They are go. I would have put on the life jacket and I would have jumped in because like, I just, I just, I just hate that he had to go that way. China McPherson said she spoke to Vaughn moments before he fell into the water. When I had just FaceTimed him prior to the accident, he was just having fun, you know, he was on FaceTime and I told him when he got off the boat to just, you know, call me when he got done. And I never got that call back. Vaughn was a trucker on vacation from Mississippi, but he would never make it back home where his friends say he wanted to join the police academy. Vaughn's friends said he liked fashion and to dress up. You're not confused. That's him. I got to look at this chat because fuck everything. I said, you're not confused. You didn't look away from your computer and turn back and I change stories. None of that shit. That is him. And these women sitting on here, and I, I don't give a fuck what y'all say over there, Miami. Y'all pick these hoes. Uh, y'all handpick these bitches. If the bitch sound like she had a mouth full of pus, you got her. As soon as y'all saw that last bitch's motherfucking eyelashes, you was like, come here. I want you to talk and talk as much as you can. T tell us about him. Ladies, that is him. Um, I'm trying to tell you something, but I can't say that here. Please read between the lines, ladies. They don't like you. And it ain't just because you're not his type. Period. What's happening, Mistress Rogue? Would you take a look at that, that, that trucker, that nice guy right there? Now, wait a goddamn minute here. I feel like somebody didn't catfish me. What the <laughs> hell? That was a complete 180. So he went from Vaughn to Lavanya? What the fuck was that? Girl. Oh, no, ma'am. The fact that they got these bitches up here, and this is when I tell black women, this is very pivotal, that you don't have any allies. And y'all always support these other communities to your fucking detriment. Because he got y'all on here looking completely fucking ridiculous. Did nobody attend school? Does nobody speak the Queen's <laughs> English? Does nobody know any fucking thing? If you're going to tell... Why did they lead off with this fucking picture, too? And, and I don't understand what... I'm so very confused right now. The truth of the matter is, I used to say they don't want you because you're not white it's because you're not white and you don't have a dick that's that's the new revelation i've had tonight period ladies listen you notice the last chick i mean mammy the fuck out if i were there i would have put on a life vest and i would have jumped in the water after him i hate y'all i yeah. absolutely hate you go yeah, ahead I have a question. yes when the fuck a nigga's gonna learn how to swim Okay, y'all motherfuckers been talking <laughs> and all that shit. All that shit y'all talk, the way you niggas talk, y'all the second coming of Jesus. So if you can't swim, at least learn to walk on fucking water. How are y'all still drowning? How is that possible? If you are an adult, you can afford swim lessons. Hell, you can go to the YMCA or some shit like that. I thought they gave adult swim lessons for like $10 a fucking lesson at one point. Learn to fucking swim if you're going to be out in the open ocean, for fuck's sake. Look, or put on a life jacket. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. This shit, you can't make this shit up. What's happening, Aaliyah? I'm getting a fucking headache. Where's well, I mean, egg? here's the thing. What I have to say, it's not necessarily about the story itself, but black women should be very, very concerned about this, but they, they're not going to be. They're going to continue supporting it and thinking it's funny and thinking it's cute that they're walking around looking like this. So I, yes, hunty, yes, this and yes. See, my thing is, it's not funny because what I'm dealing with now, what I'm seeing a lot is that these things are turning around, changing their birth names. OK, so just imagine when they go in and they got all this shit that's wrong with them. It's not just the crimes you need to be concerned about. They got all this shit going on with them. And now they're being able to be I, because they so-called identify as women so where do you think all of them fucked up numbers is gonna start going see they never women. think see they never think about any of the consequences or backlash or anything that's behind the shit that they've been campaigning for we've already discussed where that leaves you in sports they're in there to a point now to where they're injuring so many women Look, trying to Aaliyah. play 
Let's, mm-hmm. let's, let's, we, 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 ain't, we can't go there up here, you know. I'm sorry, are, they, I'm they sorry, actually, I'm sorry. They actually protected, you know, with his sexy but, ass up but there. But I'm just saying, black women, I really need y'all to knock a lot of this shit off because this shit is going to adversely affect us in ways you can't even imagine, especially when they're already able to legally change their names and identify however they want to. And I've been told they're trying to get it to where they can go back and legally change their birth certificates too and that's very fucking scary to me because i'm like okay well what do you have now that's any documentation of who they used to be like that how can you identify who was born a biological female but that's what they want it that's where they're trying to get us to that's what they want to happen to where you literally cannot tell a fucking difference anymore and y'all y'all should be very afraid of that it's not funny not like, not they going that to, sense. I think like, they want to completely erase women. Biological women are worthless. This I think be, that it's gonna be a discord conversation. This this getting okay. kind of you know, this kind of getting really weird. Ladies, let me tell you something. Stop with these eyelashes. Stop with that overdone makeup. Okay. Stop with a lot of this shit. Because I'm gonna just go ahead and tell you this. Then I'm gonna move on to Snapple, and then I'm gonna move on to the next story. When you get back to your natural self, right? It would be very hard for them to compete. I hope you're catching what I'm saying. Take off all that same shit that they're wearing. And when everybody's bare and natural, then you'll be able to see what you're looking for. Because while you're dressing like them, you're just falling in with the crowd. That's all I'm going to say about that shit. Okay? What's happening, Snapple? Yeah. um, Regarding the eyelashes, maybe... That girl was going to use her eyelashes when she said she was going to, like, save him if she could have, if she was there. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> dumb shits could float or something. I don't know. But um, Mr. Swoke took the words out of my mouth earlier. Um, what do they have against swimming? When are they going to learn how to swim? Like, how he talking about he was going to be a police officer? What the fuck? You can't, you can't swim. What you going to do if you chasing a suspect? You you know, you just going to stand there if they jump, jump in the lake and start swimming like you... You know, it's embarrassing. It's so funny. It's it's a, such a, a stereotype they love to live up to. Like, I guess they don't. They dirty anyway. They don't like to wash. So they don't like water. They don't want to swim. I don't know. That part. What's happening, Kyra? Well, all I was gonna say is to add to your point, ladies, please stop with the excessive contouring of your face. Yes. They use it because they need to soften their features. We, when we do it, we just make ourselves look like them. Absolutely not. And hey, they're taking over your baby hairs now. I don't know what y'all are going to do. Look at those baby hairs laid. His baby hairs are laid more than some of y'all's are. Y'all y'all need that, to think that. Kyra, that was the goal, right? To make it to where you can hardly tell, tell the difference, okay? Let's all do baby hairs. Let's all do lace fronts. Let's all do contouring. Let's go ahead and put these lashes on extra long. And now I'm seeing on Instagram where they have it. And I don't know why y'all going into these little videos, right? Where they're judging women and popping balloons and all that shit. That shit is fucking embarrassing. But the goal is accomplished. Y'all look exactly the same now. So it is what it is. And a lot of these men, they're into them, okay? So you might, since y'all into polyamory and all that shit, you might as well go ahead and pick one and bring it to the house because, hey, it is what it is. Y'all have arrived. You've arrived, all right? Let's go. I'm sorry. Oh, go right ahead. So I just had one more thought. Go so ahead. That, that girl wanted to jump in and save him if she was there, but he can't swim. So if her ass would have fell over, well, he was going to stand there in his dress and look at her. You know? I'm See, so here's so the stupid. thing, Sample. She can't swim either. That's why she said she would throw on a life vest. And it was going to be two <laughs> stupid motherfuckers at the bottom of the Miami River. Pull up. All right. Um, Don't worry. Towards the end of this particular story, ladies. The black women are coming. Those are you in the clouds that are still triggered by Baxter. No worries. He he victimized black women too. So don't get your panties in a bunch. I was wearing a jacket and he lifted up my, my jacket and he touched my butt. And I was just like, what just happened? 
But first tonight, a half-naked man gropes several women inside a Metro Atlanta grocery store. One of his victims has the scary and strange details. That is where we begin on Fox 5 News at 10. Good evening. I'm Russ Spencer. I'm Courtney Bryant. Tonight, police say that man is in jail. He's accused of grabbing several women while in a grocery store. Police say he wasn't wearing any pants when he did it. Well, Fox 5's Denise Dillon is live in Cobb County tonight. Denise, you talked to one woman who encountered this man. Yeah, she told me that she was just doing some shopping at this Kroger when a man grabbed her buttocks and she later learned she wasn't the only one. I was definitely shocked. I was definitely angry. Jenna Mappin was just picking up a few things at this Kroger on Powers Ferry Road when she heard a commotion and saw several employees trying to usher a man out of the store. She says the man, who was naked from the waist down, came toward her. I was wearing a jacket and he lifted up my, my jacket and he touched my butt. And I was just like, what just happened? Police showed up and witnesses pointed out this man, 35-year-old Raquan Mo. Thanks, BLM. Let me tell you something. How on earth a man that doesn't have on anything from the waist down could get into a grocery store and victimize multiple women? I'll tell you how. Because everybody's scared to say, hey, nigga, what are you doing? Nobody can talk to him. Nobody can stop him. Nobody can touch him. Nobody can tackle him. Nobody can protect these women. Why? Shout out to Daniel Penny. Anyway, how did he get in there? Uh, because everybody's scared to say anything because it'll be deemed racist or, you know, you just you just fucking with folk. I, he can't live his life. He didn't have on any pants. Do y'all see how big that plaza is? Any pants was able to walk through and everybody has to take a, a you know, a breath. Right. Because how do we approach this? Because we don't want to be accused of racism and all this shit here. Right. But uh, black women, I'm sure you want him to go down because he preferred to touch a white girl first, right? That y'all are really sick in the head. How does this even happen? What's happening, Aaliyah? This was in our state, ma'am. I have no words. So I'm so <laughs> I, just, I, I guess I'm trying to visualize, like, you just, who? how many people saw him walk past with mm -hmm. nothing, with his drawers showing and no pants on, if he even had on any drawers. So, <laughs> and because you know we country over here, we drawers, not underwear. So <laughs> I'm you, you walking around the store. I'm trying to see how did he get past so many people in a public place with no pants on to even be able to pull this off? Like this is crazy. Some of these stories get crazier and crazier. And they're going to continue to get crazier and crazier because black women won't knock this shit off. I'm sure. Just a question. Mm -hmm. Just a question. Um, what's wrong with Georgia? Do they sell bad Girl. weed or something? I, I, Girl. Uh, what's okay. wrong with this country where there's a lot? What's wrong with Baltimore? What's wrong with D.C.? What's wrong with Little Rock? LA, what's wrong with Tampa? What's wrong with Miami? What's wrong with New York City? And y'all better get y'all ass out of New York City. I, I mean that shit. Y'all better get the fuck from up there because that shit is buck wild what's going on up there. But anywhere these people are, that's what happens. Ladies, there's more crime in Salt Lake City now because over there in Utah, Salt Lake City, pull up, um, there's more black people there. And everybody's scared to say it. And nigga, what are you doing in my back chat? I'm fixing to somebody. And, I was, and I, that's really shocking to me for Utah because that used to be like mostly for what Amish and Mormon or whichever one. It was the Mormons. That was, yeah, that the was Mormons. majority their community. So I'm like, where did I, where did all these black people come from? Because they were like one of the whitest states in the country, literally. I'll tell you where they came from. They're coming from Eritrea. OK, <laughs> because oh. of the Latter Day Saints and all that. They're, yes, they're coming from Eritrea and all those countries over there who really don't know how to act around women. I'm going to be honest. This is oh. the thing, y'all. After Katrina happened too, a lot of those niggas got sent over there as well in Salt Lake City. It's Salt Lake City specifically. Um, They was having a, you know, uh, what I, I can't say that drug up here, but they had a drug issue in Salt Lake City with, with the blacks, as, as Snapple says it. Everywhere they go, this is it. And y'all done marched so fucking hard that everybody's scared to say something to a nigga that don't have no pants on at the motherfucking grocery store. What y'all doing? Forgive me, but isn't Georgia an open carry state? 
It is. Okay, so why didn't why would they carry that motherfucker out on a gurney, preferably in a black bag? Well, here's, here's what I'm. Uh, uh, let me tell you, it's because Atlanta is Atlanta. It's not Georgia. Georgia is Georgia. Atlanta, that's a whole nother down to the base, niggified motherfucking area. But I don't get why this motherfucker, this motherfucker walking around looking like a whole human suppository in no pants. <laughs> And nobody thought, oh, this is sort of outside the norm. Maybe we should call the police. Maybe we should call or get our, you know, our self-defense stuff going. That's I don't understand. This is this is ridiculous. There's no way else you should be able to. But he's mentally ill. Mental <laughs> ill people are not doing this dumb shit. He's acting like the motherfuckers that invaded. It's like everywhere they go, it's like a malignant cancer all over the world. And the only commonality in the... For the it, the base of the whole goddamn problem, the illness itself, the cancer is these niggas and the mammy bitches who bring them along and work so hard to protect them. See, this is why, yeah. Oh, let me stop. I'm about to share that Discord. I, I heard some shit this week, though. I'm going to stand by on that. I heard a lot of shit. Discord is going to be popping tonight. Um, ladies, it's very difficult. I want everybody to know the tea. Unfucking filtered, but it's so hard to talk up here. It really is. Um, Y'all got to be safe. These men are getting out of control. Black men in particular. This is who y'all deal with. Okay. Now let's just say everybody motherfucking divested. Okay. Don't take your ass to a Chad. Did you hear what I said? Anybody that identifies with that culture, you need to stay far the fuck away from them. They are unhinged right now. And shout out to goddamn Zaddy DeSantis. He is trying his hardest and he's doing the best he can. And he is knocking motherfucking fuck out. I love it. But like, Ooh, I love you too, Ronnie. Oh my God. Gosh, I told my husband the other night, if me and you don't work out and Ron's wife leave him, that's going to be my second husband. Ron DeSantis, pull up. That's, he just, he doing things that everybody else was scared to do. Everybody. Okay. Um, And we'll talk about some of the shit he did later on tonight, but ladies, please be safe. That's all I can tell you out here. Hey. Fucking y'all the fuck up. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Let me go ahead and say this, not to interject, because I know somebody is just as moronic as this fool in the back chat that's gonna take what mistress rogue just said and run with it she didn't say to get a bang bang simply because he was walking around in no pants it he was walking around in no pants looking for somebody to essay and he would do you don't walk around putting your hands on people and filling people up that lady specifically said that he touched her butt Okay, my thing is, you don't be that. He was looking for somebody to SA. We can't say the word up here, but that's very different when you are protecting your person, your body, your personal space. No, don't don't even try to play that. We're not gonna play that game. No, I, I'm not paying attention to that motherfucker in the back chat because if he understood anything about life, he wouldn't understand where his black ass was not wanted. Sir, go get fucked by a nine inch dick because I know that's what you're after. <laughs> Ain't nobody on this panel got a dick. I am not going to strap on a dick because it's not necessary. I'm married to a man. So go somewhere and get fucked. <laughs> Shane, you got anything on this bullshit? I couldn't imagine. Y'all, I shop at Kroger all the time. I couldn't imagine. Go ahead. I just want to say, I'm just glad I live in a state to where uh, open carry, constitutional carry, they don't give a fuck. If some shit like that went down and somebody pulled something on them, they would not get in trouble here. That's all I want to say. That part. Y'all y'all be hating these states that got these Republican values, but hey, we, yeah, we pretty good. Um, Let me see something. Time scale. Comment in the chat who you tell and by, because I like to go ahead and verify first before I act a religious ass motherfucking mess. So I ain't gonna jump on you. I want to know who you talking to. Time scale, talking about girl. Bye. Um, we gonna see, ladies. Check it. <clears throat> Let's go. And we now know the gunman accused of killing an innocent mother in front of her two children are just. 16 and 17 years old. DZ said uh, she don't like little black boys. That's pure evil right there. It's a child. Y'all sons are cutting the fucking fool. They're cutting the fuck up. We talk about all this extra shit up here. What's going on with the celebrity life and, and you know, crime that's going on. But never forget, you still being taken the fuck out. I have a hypothesis here. I think her, her 
boyfriend might have paid these kids, but I don't have no proof of that. That's just a hypothesis. Ladies, they are getting younger and younger and younger. I'm sure I haven't seen anybody do a live stream yet on that 11 year old that robbed Wells Fargo armed. Huh? So you want to talk about them kids again or no? Because that entire community is trash. And I stand on that. Everything I said four years ago, I stand on that shit today. Why? I'm black and I know black people. I, 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 I come from black sand. I know exactly what you are. And I knew as soon as y'all started all of this efficacy for badass kids that they was going to turn their newfound freedom on you, bitch. That's what they're going to do. Huh? It, it, it only makes sense. If you use your head and not your pussy, sometimes maybe you find that the fuck out. These niggas are terrible. Let's go. And according to investigators, Aisha Goff died while protecting her kids from bullets just over a month ago. And new tonight, her godmother telling ABC 13's Jessica Willie the arrests come with mixed emotions. Jessica. Yeah, one of the accused killers, just three years older than the victim's son who witnessed the murder, Aisha Goff's family relieved that HPD made these arrests, but saddened by the young ages of the suspects. Why would somebody do this to her and in front of her two kids? Even a month later, the circumstances surrounding Aisha Goff's murder are puzzling and arrests shed no more light. We have no idea why. Uh, this was done. Um, she did not know um, her assailants. Mr. Blanks, you are charged with the first degree felony offense of murder. 17 year old Leishan Blanks appearing in court this afternoon is now charged with murder. According to Houston police, he and a 16 year old juvenile accomplice fired upon Goff's car at this West Houston intersection on February 23rd. The mother and two of her children, ages 13 and three, heading home. Her 13-year-old told family she shielded him from the bullets. Yeah, she was very outgoing. She, um, she was lovable. Um, she just, you know, lit up a room. Gladys Pratt Seahorn is Goff's godmother and a local pastor. Did y'all hear the description? She was lovable. She was kind, giving, lighting up a room. Every single last one of you black women that aren't here anymore, you describe that way. I find that very interesting. Your love, your lighting up the room should be reserved for certain people, not for everybody in the community because your ass is so goddamn black male identified. It's no coincidence that all of these women are described as giving, kind, good mothers and all this shit here. I'm not, look, and I'm not saying it's true all the time because people tend to have weird memories when the person is no longer here, pull up. But save some of that shit for people who deserve it. Save that shit for somebody that's earned it. You just don't go handing that stuff out. It's okay to be a pleasant person in short interactions that's not going to take place for a long time. And you need to have a pro public persona that's you know easy to deal with and not somebody that's deemed harsh. But all this extra, I'm getting ready to get involved. I'm going to this party. I'm going to that. I'm doing this. I'm going to just be around my people, blah, 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 blah. It is filling these goddamn cremators the fuck up. These graves the fuck up. It is leaving y'all's kids that y'all claim y'all love so much without mothers. She didn't know these people and they didn't rob her. I suspect her man has something to do with it. It's just a suspicion. Okay. But she threw her body on top of her children. All right. So that at least tells me that she was a protector of her children. But here's the deal. Ladies, a child shot her. So where do you go? Are we wrong for not wanting to deal with your sons as well just because they're minors? I don't adhere to that type of foolishness. When a motherfucker is dangerous, they're dangerous. Do you know that there's a such thing as evil children? Were you aware of that? Or are you scared to say it? OK. And a lot of them hail from that very community that y'all call melanated. All right. They have been given too much range and too many excuses for their poor behavior. And it did not make it better. It made it worse where they're taking out bitches on top of their children. OK, so y'all like corrective measures. Shouldn't there be a corrective measure in there somewhere where y'all noticing all these kids, ladies, crimes with juveniles is up by 84 percent nationwide. Who in the hell heard of an 11 year old? taking a pew pewer, right? And robbing a fucking bank. I know it didn't happen when I was younger. Well, what's changing? 
Y'all are acting like everybody's victims. It's time for people to go ahead and own their shit and admit when something's fucking wrong and there's something wrong with y'all kids. Okay, they can't read, they can't do math, their attention spans are so low. That's why TikTok is so fucking popular because the videos are a couple of seconds long, two minutes long. They can't sit around for an hour. They can't, they simply can't do it. Okay, and you're feeding into the shit, which is making them even more violent. Anyway, Shane, you got something on this? Because I don't I fuck them kids. Not not really. I mean, everybody know I got a thun and I still say fuck them kids. That part, okay? And that is not hard to do. And if you know what, if, if you accept the truth and get out your feelings, ladies, you got to get out your feelings. Seriously, nobody's trying to attack your children. If your kids are good, amazing. That's wonderful. You have to be able to admit, though, it is some terrible ass kids out here, huh? And they don't get charged. They get to get sent home to their parents no matter what they do. They could have put a gun in your dick liquor, and guess what? They're going home to their mama. Something has to change, okay? What's happening, Snapple? Yeah, this is just reminding me of a few years ago when the bitch with the frog in her throat was like, they just kids. Uh, uh, they, <laughs> so uh, they just kids. <laughs> you know, it's like, and like you said, now years have passed and these same rock-headed ass kids that everybody was so outraged about when you initially made your stance clear, they around here like doing the most demonic, evil ass shit that that grown as men are doing so uh i second what shane said fuck them kids period it is what it is ladies this is it's like this okay before the internet listen to me before the internet was in everybody's home and everybody's phone everybody got a phone now and all this shit here black people could come to the news and say you know it's just not a lot of jobs around here and the stores are closing and, da, 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 da. and people would start feeling sorry for them because they didn't know the tea they didn't live around those people now everybody can see you on these Instagram reels. Everybody can see you on Facebook. They can see you on TikTok, all the shit that you're doing. So now, right, when you bring your ass to the news talking about they should bring more jobs here, motherfuckers looking at you sideways like, who the fuck want to be around that? Who the fuck? Anybody remember the knockout game? Hmm? And other things that happen in the black community, they see you and then they know you put on a persona when it's time to talk to the news. When somebody has a microphone in your face, pull up. Nobody's being fooled by your shit anymore. That's why a lot of y'all's GoFundMe's ain't reaching the goal. Is this thing on? Let me see if this thing on. Okay? Because they, they my panel ain't the only pe people that hang upside down like a motherfucking bat. I'm looking at y'all GoFundMe's, and they're rarely reaching the goddamn goal, even when your sister pouring goddamn acid in your face. Pull up. It's so much shit to go over, and I don't have time for it. Aaliyah, what's happening? I mean, it's what people are not getting, these are not your average normal kids committing, you know, just doing, you know, mischievous behavior. You always had kids that would act out a little bit, do some things, you know, break some shit. You know, that's normal kid shit. They weren't getting together committing hardcore crimes. I was I'm so glad that you brought up the bank robbery thing, because I was gonna mention that. Teens and preteens just didn't go around like actually robbing banks. Like this some set it off shit. I don't know if they just watching too much television or Netflix or whatever it is that they watching. They got these kids thinking that they monsters and they running around. I don't know what it is that, but these kids, but I do know this. Black people don't like the truth. They just want to be told that they're the most oppressed, that they're victims of everything, that they're not a lazy group, that them and their children aren't destroying this fucking country, and that they aren't looting and robbing and fucking up old neighborhoods, that their sons are graduating high school and college at realistic rates, that the white man is the devil and the black man is just misunderstood. We're all just going to continue to lie about that and just deflate to white people whenever their behavior comes into question. They take responsibility for absolutely nothing, but then they try to be the moral compass for everyone else when they have achieved the least in this country. And it's all really fucking pathetic. And I'm glad that I unplugged my ass from the matrix a long time ago, because I'm just not going to live in this type of delusion. And I don't give a fuck about, about you or a black, a black card. Fuck you and your card. So I hope we're clear on that. Mm, that black card makes very good toilet paper. I wiped my ass with it back in the 90s. Ass ain't never been cleaner. Pull up. What's happening, Mr. Stroke? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my goodness. I was about to say some shit that's gonna piss off all you mammy bitches and niggrin. Um, you produce inferior product. And what I mean by that is that if we look at statistical data set forth by the FBI and your local friendly neighborhood police, when it comes to the perp um the perpetrators of crimes is disproportionately Black Negrin. If you look at the FBI stats, they have what you make up 13% of the Americas, but then you make up 60% of the crime stats. The math does not equate to what the fuck these bitches are doing in Never Never Land, where these niggas never never do anything wrong. They just never never have any chances and never never this, never never that. I'm really tired of y'all and those motherfucking pussy puppets that y'all letting fall out of you. I'm hmm. going to need you bitches to close your legs. And I, I sincerely wish that y'all hoes would just stop for just one generation. Just stop fucking these niggas and stop making children. But you know what? And that's in my wildest dreams because knowing y'all dumb whores, y'all evolve and be like the goddamn male Darwin frog. Just swallow the kids, hold them in your throat. When they grow up, you just spit them the fuck out. I have no hope. For this community whatsoever. I never had any hope for it. I don't give a fuck about a black card. It's a useless card. What 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 does that card let you do? Cry about your or so-called quote unquote oppression that where you can live in this space of victimhood and never do a goddamn thing. I don't care about you needing programs. You need a I got a program for you. It's called a belt and a motherfucking switch. Start whooping them children's ass if you're gonna have them. Most of y'all want to have the children, but you don't want to parent the children. And then the kids are out here robbing motherfucking banks. And if somebody they go out there and they go to the right person they get the issue then you want to march and cry and bemoan the system that your motherfucking ass didn't build you want nothing but freebies and get buys on it and everybody is tired of you we have told y'all in a prior live that these white folks are watching y'all y'all do not pay attention you cannot read the room i wish i could say so much more up here I let look, me tell you, no 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 no. let me tell you what they heard they heard you advocating for child abuse yep that's what they heard mm -hmm. that's it that's all let me ask y'all this the programs that have come out and there has been hundreds of them have they worked did they improve the community let me submit this did it make the community worse because let me tell you something about human nature when you don't use it you lose it period anybody that has had a sedentary job after working an active job their energy level goes low okay when you don't have to earn a living when you don't have to be the one to do the things uh, adults do you stop doing it altogether. And then your survival mechanism is this. It's crying to everybody else that actually has something. Those programs do not work. It's wasting taxpayer dollars. And I'm not with the shit. I had, look, I think the last time I donated to a GoFundMe, GoFundMe is probably in the 2022, maybe. I, I quit because listen, y'all not going to keep doing this shit. GoFundMe is not insurance. It's for emergencies. And there's pages, ladies, if you go over to GoFundMe right now, it's pages of black women. And a lot of those stories are so similar. And that little green mark over there that's monitoring how far you get into your goal, that bitch getting smaller and smaller and smaller. I mean, get burial insurance. The shit is $6 shit. a Save fucking month. Sometimes as low as $3 a fucking month. You mm -hmm. bitches want to you bitches want to be seeds. You going to get planted cuz you won't leave them niggas alone. So just pay for the fucking burial insurance. Mm -hmm. I listen. I'm completely apathetic to these GoFundMe's because Me the information is out there. Girl, you knew what the fuck what, fuck what the fuck it was when we started this shit. This is not a game. But you bitches want to be contrary for the sake of contrary and contrary to what you may think, your ass is going to be planted like a seed if you fuck with them. So I'm not I'm not moved by that. I don't give a fuck if she lit up a room. Well, it's lights out now because the bitch shouldn't have been fucking with them. I don't give a fuck about the kid, the cheering she leave behind. Fuck them kids 2024 and beyond. Fuck all that shit. She knew what it was. We get up here every week and we give this information and these bitches spit in our face and call us bedwinches and coons. Fuck all y'all. So good luck standing in the corner of the funeral home. I guess they're going to use your stupid ass as a coat rack. Well, at least they got it correct. I am indeed a bedwinch. I can admit that. I'm <laughs> a, a superior bedwinch. I must be great. I must be great. I'm talking about them hamstrings are flexible when he pushed the thighs back. Pull the fuck up. Good bedwinch. But check this out. Can you admit what you are? <laughs> I'm, I've been waiting for years. Can you admit what you are? I need you to pull up on me. What's happening, Snapple? Um, yeah, you know, fuck them kids again. I was just reiterating <laughs> what was already said, you know. It's just it's just funny to me that bitches have so much to say, you know, and you know that but that's how it always happens. Every time you say something, people get mad, and then all you gotta do is sit back and wait. The blacks don't disappoint, they're gonna be ignorant, degenerate every time. And so here we are. 
that's what's up hey kyra so oh, she said very affordable go ahead i'm sorry i'm just reading the chat <laughs> my bad so here's the thing you you mentioned you mentioned the programs i might think is did they actually show up for the programs i mean let's be real mammies y'all advocated for all these programs to really help out your guns did you actually take them to the programs did you actually discipline them to follow the programs rules and guidelines no so yes it is a waste of money of taxpayer money and here's where we are it is what it is before 100 percent agree go ahead shane that, that, that i was gonna say 100 percent agree because they you know, either the mothers don't, don't bring them, and of course, the damn nigga dad isn't around to do it to take them. And I noticed, you know, when I was young, these programs have <laughs> been around for fucking forever. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at fifty. Okay, I'm gonna be forty-seven here soon. The, they, the programs that they offer to all of the children, not just the damn boys, but the boys and the girls, almost every fucking time, the ones I participated in mostly girls it may have been a couple of boys and that was it so it's like they don't come because they don't want to and like i said my mom didn't bring me no didn't bring me i found a way to get there and so did many of the other girls um my age who participated too so even if the damn parents don't bring them if the little niggas really wanted to go they would go but they don't want to the, the girls um, are there more because they're gonna have to take care of the boys that's the setup so the girls go get what they need to get and then they're gonna, gonna have to come home and share with the boys the mother's gonna demand it okay they don't have to do anything but stand there and look i am on you uh, dz <laughs> yes can i also just say though like i don't think programs will make a difference with these little rock-headed ass fucking silver cap having ass can't read out hey. loud <laughs> he is, he's raggedy ass Short, mm, anyway, I'm just saying, yes, all points just made were valid. However, comma, I think if some in if in a perfect world they attended, they would still be dusty little degenerates that was terrorizing neighborhoods. So just be clear on I that. I was to say, I don't think programs would do them any good either. They're so far beyond the program. All they want to do, all they know is destruction. That's all they know. Even when they're, they, they won't even sit down and learn in schools. They can't read. A lot of them are mentally challenged and their parents don't want to accept that it's something wrong with their children. Like, you know, you know, these kids something wrong ain't, with them. Aaliyah, there's something uh, wrong with their ass too. I mean, like they just, they're not learning anything. So my thing is, they sitting up here lying, talking shit about migrants, trying to pretend like these they these kids are actually going to these schools, going to using these rec centers. When they're going, they're causing nothing but havoc. They attacking the teachers more now than they ever have. You can't tell them nothing. They, I mean, it's ridiculous. They don't want to listen to authority. They don't feel like they got to follow any type of rules. So what is the point? Why do you even bother trying to hire people to send them in there? So some one of y'all little daughters running around here who smelling herself, who feel like can't nobody tell her nothing, want to jump up and challenge the teacher. And before you know it, she in tour with the teacher. And then the same thing with the sons. I still am trying to wrap my head around this boy knocking his goddamn teacher out cold. And that's only one case. So my thing is, if they act like that in a regular school system where learning should be a priority, what the hell do y'all think these little programs where you got folks that are in the community that's volunteering their time or maybe being paid? You think the teachers are underpaid? Do you expect these people to come in there and deal with the shit to put up with your children? And you wonder why they just said, fuck it, and find a juvenile facility somewhere to lock them in and just be done with it. Yeah, that's well, that's the only way. That's the only way to deal with it. Um, there's no hope for black people. Ladies, I hope you hear what I'm saying. I said there is no hope for black people. They are done. All right. Since they landed in this country and those are, that are indigenous to this country, is it, it, everybody is included. Pull up. You want some inclusion? You finna get some tonight. They are finished, ladies. And whenever that other shoe drop, because it's in the middle of dropping, those of y'all that have been hanging out with us for a long time, you know we said that these days here were coming. Well, they're here now, okay? And everything I said about social credit, I stand on that shit. Y'all better get ready for that fucking shit. Do you understand me, okay? Since you don't like to pay for insurance, but you do like to pay for BBLs, 
how about this part? How about you stop paying for that, right? And pay for, for some groceries and shit like that. Um, are y'all getting ready to have uh, calculatable data with y'all dying from BBLs? Is that what I'm seeing as well? Uh, what this say right here? L let's see what that say. Welcome back. Well, the family of a Tennessee mother who lost her life after undergoing a popular plastic surgery procedure in Miami is suing the surgical center and the doctor who performed the operation. And it's a case the NBC6 investigated. Trigger warning, y'all gonna be madder than a motherfucker. This got pro-black written all over it and it cost this girl her fucking life trying to have a big booty for niggas, okay? Let's go. Gators have been following for years now. Miriam Masihi has the latest. 33-year-old Erica Russell, a mother of five, left her home in Tennessee in 2021 to travel to Miami for a Brazilian butt lift or BBL, the plastic surgery procedure that has one of the highest mortality rates. Did you hear that? Why am I not hearing this from the Black community? She said it has one of the highest mortality rates. So the relationships that y'all are engaging in has three times more likely, uh, excuse me, new numbers, six times more likely the rate of you getting taken the fuck up out of here and something that y'all love to do with this booty shit. And some of this shit is exposing y'all mental health because it doesn't even look real. It's too big for your little thighs. It just looks crazy. You look like you got a motherfucking TV stand on your back. But this is really, really popular. This is not going to keep him. It's not, it'll, it'll attract him for a minute if it ain't no dick available. Pull up. But y'all got to stop this shit. I didn't know that this was killing y'all as much as it is. And this is what it tells me, that you're willing to die for black male attention. This is sad. Let's go. Like many folks in, uh, you know, across the country um, come to Florida and uh, seek to have these plastic surgery uh, procedures. Russell had the popular plastic surgery at Seduction Cosmetic Center on Southwest 8th Street. State records show her surgeon, Dr. John Sampson, entered the operating room. Let's go! <laughs> What's wrong with y'all, mammies? What's wrong? Are y'all gonna sit here and play in my face? Like she didn't pick him because he was black? Because that's what y'all do. That's what y'all do on a dating scene as well. You try to do it with businesses, them raggedy ass t-shirt businesses these niggas be having, right? She didn't pick him because he was black? Black men are the death of y'all in very, very versatile ways. This is fucked up. I'm only going to play a little bit more of it. Get this tea. In room at about 632 that morning and performed six other surgeries before Russell's procedure, which began at about 831 in the evening. By the time he got around to our client after 830 at night, uh, he was on his now seventh procedure of the day. According which means he's busy. He can't get enough of you bitches on the schedule because y'all calling him so much. I'm talking about he doing surgeries at 8.30 at night. Who ever heard of that when it's not somebody that's been shot or something like that where, where it's an emergency? Usually nighttime surgeries are because of an emergency somebody's dying. But hey, your thirst is so detrimental that you're willing to jump on a black man's surgery table at night. And by the way, who did she, who did her family come looking to save the day? Yeah, that part. Y'all create these messes. And then as soon as you get hungry or you're unalive or whatever crisis is going on in your life, the people that come and help you look like them and they hate you. Huh? L ladies, this is the thing. You are not going to be able to play this game long. All right. You're not going to be able to play this game long. Ladies, statistically speaking, right now in this chat, one of these women not going to be here next year for whatever reason. BBL, some sort of disease process she didn't know because she didn't go to the doctor. Unalivened by a black man, right? This is, this, this is what statistics say. It's a thousand people here tonight, okay? So statistically speaking, one of these women ain't going to be here when we come back next year. Huh? Okay, let's keep going. Uh, Zaddy, take, take over. According to her autopsy, Russell died of a fat emboli and internal bleeding after the doctor perforated organs during the liposuction portion of the surgery and then injected fat too deep into her buttocks, hitting the muscle, something that was prohibited by law after studies conducted by the American Society of Plastic Surgeons showed it was the cause of most BBL deaths. We know that they went across the plane, the muscle plane that they're not supposed to go across, um, which 
dramatically increases the risk of exactly what happened here. She effectively bled to death along with having this emboli, that fatty emboli. Russell's family is now suing Seduction Cosmetic Center and Dr. Samson alleging, among other things, that the center should not have let the doctor perform an unsafe number of procedures in a single day, especially since state records had him as the designated physician for the center and not as a surgeon who would be performing BBLs. Doctor, if, if you could just tell me, were you pressured to do that many surgeries in one day? During a medical board hearing in 2022, Dr. Sampson would not answer that question. He ended up accepting a settlement from the state that prohibits him from doing BBLs again. Frankly, people expect better care in the United States um, of America in these procedures, and it's and it's care they're just not getting, unfortunately, at a lot of these facilities in, in Miami-Dade and, and Broward. When asked about the lawsuit filed by Russell's family, Dr. Samson's legal representative told us he was unable to comment on active litigation. Anyway, ladies, this is the deal. Black men don't like you. Stop following them around. It's costing you your life. Start loving yourself. You don't need that goddamn implant. Whatever you got to work on, do some fucking squats, whatever. But if you find yourself in a, a situation where you just simply must have that BBL, Please make sure your surgeon doesn't look like this nigga up here on my screen. Did you hear what they said? They said that he cut through the muscle and she developed a fatty emboli. For those that don't know what that is, it can be as small as a tip of a pin. It just, I hope y'all not thinking it has to be some big ass piece of quarter sized fat. No, an emboli is very, very tiny and that tiny shit can kill you. So the person that's doing your surgery has to be crisp at what the fuck he's doing. And when you look at him, do you see Chris? I see dust. Huh? Huh? Aaliyah, what you got? Uh-oh, she done fell down. Snapper, what you got on here? Yeah, these BBLs, man. Look, this is crazy to me. Like, I'm tired of this BBL epidemic. And it's crazy because a lot of the girls that are getting BBLs, you would think like they you would think that at least they're being delusional and they think they're about to go be like some type of XXL model on a magazine cover or something. And it's like, they go get BBLs and then they go right back to working at Family Dollar and, you know, living their little poverty stricken lives. And now they just got this big old bubble butt. And it's like, you guys are risking your lives for what? So that these ashy degenerates could, 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 could want to like assault you faster. Like, I don't understand why, why even want to draw more attention to yourself like that. And it's just crazy to me. Like this has been, this has been documented how many times how this is one of the most dangerous surgeries that you could ever do. And they are still just recklessly doing it. And, and you know, this thing on the screen, greedy, no integrity, no ethics, nasty, just ill. I hope he goes to jail. Like, who the fuck is getting a BBL at 8.30 p.m.? Like, I, it's just the ghetto. It's just so... Snapple he, Snapple, he had so many people on his schedule, so many people, and you know they was black women, do not play with me, okay? He had so many people on his schedule that he had to work through the night to get all these big asses made. Let me ask y'all this, mammies, and I wish one of y'all would click the link, all right? Preferably somebody that attempted or wanted or had a BBL. Are y'all getting these BBLs to make sure that black men find you attractive or are you doing it because you want to make sure white men don't find you attractive i'm trying to see something because whenever y'all have these mishaps y'all always like to go and grab white men to fix it so what is it you don't like being used by black men you hate that shit when they come in your life take your taxes and all that shit there but y'all treat white men the same way you don't even look their direction until you need something whore huh this is ridiculous. 8.30 at night, usually people are taking care of gunshot wounds, um, bursted appendix. You're talking to a registered nurse here, regardless of what anybody else tell you, okay? Heart attacks, shit like that are being taken care of where they have to go in and put catheters and do all this peripheral shit to make sure your ass don't die. That's the type of shit that happens at night. During the day, that's when elective surgeries happen, breast augmentation and shit like that. If you see somebody getting a BBL at night, this bitch is... She's. Ooh, I, I see somebody getting a BBL with five fucking kids. I got questions, girl. 
mm. five children and you can afford a BBL, your priority. Listen, her priorities were fucked. And I'm just going to Well, you got to remember, Mrs. Rowe, we're buying her food. We're, everybody else in society is buying her necessities. She's buying what she wants. You get what I'm saying? It must be nice because I can't buy what the fuck I want. I still, even with all my career choices, have to budget and do all the adult responsible things. But what gets me is that, bitch, you went and got this BBL, and I don't care if people say, oh, you're being me. I don't give a fuck anymore, so suck it easy. Anyway, they're going to be like, oh, well, you know, she has a right to get a BBL. Yeah, but not on my dollar because I'm pretty sure that's how the fuck that happened. Girl, you have five children that you're not even here for anymore. And furthermore, <laughs> stop running to white folks when y'all fuck up stuff. How about that? Y'all hate <laughs> Them so no, I'm serious, DZ. They hate them so much they on do. every platform. They're talking shit about white men. They're talking shit about what white men have done. They said, "Well, white men do it too." Yeah, they do a lot of things too, and that's why y'all run to them every time y'all have to fuck around and find out. Leave white folks alone. Mm. 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 I just want, I want women, black women, to knock this shit off with these fake asses. Cause like a lot of like it's already been set up on this panel. Them asses don't look as good as y'all think they do. This it's throwing y'all body and your proportions all out of whack. The thigh to and hip, the ass ratio ain't making sense. You walk around, some of them walk around with these skinny ass legs and these huge asses. It just it's not looking and like some of them, some of these asses look, look looking like they're about to deflate at any moment, like they're about to fall out, like she got a dirty diaper. And the thing is, y'all twerk way too much for it not to be noticeable. That you you look it looks like you got two big balloons up under your ass cheeks sometimes, depending on I you can tell the ones that have gotten discounts. So that's probably why she was there. <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny, like you can tell the ones. Who got them asses off layaway? Cause see, that's probably why she was there in the middle of the night. He probably was gonna cut her a discount or something. I'm sure they had worked something out until uh, for he can do it a little cheaper or something, or so he can give her something. It was a reason for why he time why he you know scheduled Again, that that he way. Had so many people but, on that schedule. That's what happened. It, it, if, if you look at the court documents, he had done eight surgeries mm -hmm. before he even got to her black ass. But I really want them to understand that that is cosmetic. It's not really worth it. I know you don't give a damn. Uh, most of the time, women don't want to hear that they're fine or okay just the way they are. They want people to feed into the insecurities and say, all right. And then when you tell them, okay, well, just work on it. You can why not run? Why not squat? Why not hit lunges? You got the stairmaster. It's tons of videos of women working out to show you how to grow your glutes. Yeah, everybody ain't meant to have these huge badonka donks or whatever they used to call that shit. I don't even know what to call that shit now because these do not look like regular asses anymore. So stop making yourselves look like front circus freaks or clowns. Cause Looking that's like what fucking a lot bumblebees of these, by the body. Look, you ever a seen lot a bumblebee? of these, mm -hmm. sir, yeah, like a lot of these surgeries are coming out, and a lot of these women, you, they get the surgery. That's not even the end of it. It's so much maintenance that goes along with that that you got to be able to keep that up and afford that. All them massages, all them compression um, bandages and shit that you got to. And a lot of these women got asses they can't even sit on fully because they can't put that pressure down on their ass in its entirety so i'm gonna walk around here with an ass that i can't even sit on the shit is crazy to me look anything that i don't that don't get done in them 90 minutes in the gym anything that don't get done at that point it ain't gonna get done and if you don't like me the way i look the way i look as hard as i work fuck you okay oh you, you know somebody type, ladies. You are somebody's type. But I have a suspicion that you're looking for a type that like all that weird ass. And those are the type of niggas that put bitches in the dirt. I'm just trying to tell you something. Black women, you're beautiful when you fucking take care of yourself. And when you love yourself, confidence brings you up from a nine to a ten, to be honest with you. You you could be the average bitch. But when you think you that fucking amazing and it's actually genuine, it brings you up a notch, too. And somebody finds you attractive. I tell you what. The majority, I'll put it to you like this. Anybody outside of that awful culture, they don't like that goddamn BBL. I, I'm just sorry. It looks crazy. You're exposing your mental illness when you do that. When you when you can't see 
what we see when it's sitting up there looking like a TV shelf, you need to go to the doctor. And, and I'm talking about ones that deal with mental health to keep you it real. What? It's so funny that we're talking about this because we had a little bit of discussion of this in Discord. And I remember thinking, like, growing up, how them niggering used to look at me. Oh, you're weird. You're too smart. You're too this. And the funny part is when I got my first real boyfriend, who was a white guy, all the things they had made fun of me for, he loved about me. He admired those things in me. It's not that you're looking... and. Uh, it's not what you're looking for is just out of your reach black woman it's just you want it from the wrong people mm -hmm. i don't understand this need to be accepted by people who ain't done shit for the greater society as a whole but complain about their alleged oppression you motherfuckers can't spell slaves you ain't never read a slave book you can't do math all the things your your ancestors fought for you to be able to do get an education go to school learn to do math learn to do all these wonderful things y'all basically spit in the face of all that shit every day and then you complain about oppression just stop looking for validation in people who can't even find themselves they are the they are the forever lost motherfuckers of the society just let them go y'all like numbers right mammies mammies hello you like numbers right didn't y'all tell the white man that a lot of black men are locked the fuck up and that white men were taking them into the jails and out of their children's lives out of their family lives and all that shit so technically speaking there's not enough black men to go around right and then you got to so what are you doing are y'all trying to somehow just do it off aesthetics because let's just say you did get that horrible nigga in your life how you gonna keep him you, you i see y'all opening up your uh your dating rules and letting other women come into y'all house and then you pretending like you like the shit as well we see straight through you because your instagram last year said he's mine you might have had him once but i got him all the time and shit but now you some polyamorous weirdo because you don't want to lose that nigga how much of yourself are you willing to give up your core values in order to have one of the top killers in the in the country because that's what they are they top they take y'all motherfucking ass out huh just real what? quick too yes, lady this this bbl thing i never really understood it uh but think about this you're getting a procedure to attract somebody who will then turn around and tell you that you stink because of the bbl yes <laughs> and ma'am not, not to mention it draws a lot of unwanted attention and a lot of people are very disrespectful to be honest with you and i know the the, the big thick thigh sisters and the big ass sisters that got big asses naturally and i'm not trying to brag but i do you know it brings a whole lot of unwanted attention and men can be very fucking disrespectful with the way they talk to you and about you and it's like goddamn i'm a person I don't have motherfuckers following me around the goddamn grocery store and they ain't even bragging because I know you ain't looking at my face. People don't treat you like you human. So I'm something I'm a woman. I'm a person. What okay, my face is up here. What you looking at? So a lot of times it it brings a whole lot of unwanted attention and all of it's not good because a lot of these motherfuckers are disrespectful. And that's why sometimes I can't even be in the gym how I want to be. Cause I know you following me in here cause you just want to see some body parts bouncing up and down and shaking. And I'm not finna do this with y'all. That's the reason why I would, I, I, I have to exit the gym a lot of the time. Cause motherfuckers are perverts. Okay. Mm. Let's be real. But I guess some people like that attention to yes. where they put, they, they get these big asses and you go directly in the gym. And I ain't even trying to be funny because even the fitness community, a lot of the women over there have started complaining about how a lot of women are coming in the gym. They put on these pants that they snatch them right up in the crack of their ass. And mm. the first thing they do is start, I guess, doing Roman dead lifts or whatever it is. They come in here doing all these watch and folks like some of this shit y'all doing in the gym this ain't exercise and this is ridiculous but yeah, i ain't never been the type to want that kind of attention so i try to be in the gym at some of the most crazy unorthodox hours ever so i could be in there by myself that dz could dz can vouch for that because most of the yep. time i'm up texting her and i know she'd be like what the heck i know you finna go to the gym it's, it's after midnight i'm trying to be in here by myself i don't want none of y'all in here with me they I'm are toxic and she is very very correct Aaliyah be like god damn it I, that, where is this person come from that person come from you know it's just like listen y'all everything she said was fucking facts ladies y'all doing the wrong thing to get the wrong people's attention at the end of the day you're not their preference i know that probably hurts from coming from somebody that's been divested 30 years okay 
it probably hurts you, but I can't identify with that because I don't like those people. Do you know what people I'm talking about? I don't want to be desired by them. I don't want to be talked to. By, I don't want anything to do with them. Who the fuck wants anything to do with degeneracy? But y'all crave it for some odd reason. Why? Because you look like them? Because you look like them? Ladies, y'all are not their preference. They actually prefer to suck it down to the base. But I'm getting ready to show y'all something. And I and I need to, it's, it's kind of serious. Uh, I laughed at it because, but it was kind of sad at the same fucking time. Y'all worried about the wrong things, ladies. And I worry about who y'all letting into your life. I can't do anything about it. All I can do is entertain you, me, and my good sisters that's up here on this panel. That's all I can do and give you some information at the same time. Ladies, outside of men, right? Let me tell you else who black men and now black women prefer, okay? Hold your horses. Let's go. The youngest age you would date if it was legal. <laughs> Ten. Ten. Yeah. You know that's that's pedal status, my bro. What's the what's the youngest age you would date if it was legal? I'm gonna go to you. Thirteen. Yeah. Probably can go still younger than if you go cute, you know? The cuteness just draw you in. You know? You go younger than that. The cuteness will draw you in. So you date somebody younger? Yeah. Alright. What's the youngest age you would date if it was legal? Yeah. I pick 12. You don't find 12 is too young? Like that's not a young age for you? Or it's fine? Okay, 12, 14. 12 or 14? Yeah. Okay. Ladies, if any of y'all are confused, let me know because I will play that again. These black folk are degenerate. And like I always used to say in 2021, dust is global from the top of this motherfucker all the way down to the South Pole. Ladies, that was sad. And now we got black women participating in that same fuckery that's going on. Did you hear what that nigga bitch said? 13 years old, if it was legal, she'd get. I already know these. I already know what these niggas give. But I wasn't prepared for my good sister up there. I really was not prepared for her. Y'all doing this? Seriously? I don't have nothing to say on it because it speaks for itself and it's a very touchy subject. I'm sure we're going to talk more about it in Discord. We got a lot of shit to cover tonight. Anybody oh, got anything, God damn it, before yeah, we get into it? I do. I left that little poem in the back chat for the motherfucking stalker. Feel free to take a gander at that on y'all way out. <laughs> Uh-oh. Woo! Um, oh, how poetic and shit. But yeah. I will. <laughs> <laughs> how poetic and shit. I, I did want to say this, though, because for the motherfuckers in the clouds, because we do have a lot of followers, y'all obsession with us is very unhealthy. I just thought I would say that because the amount of stalking that we get for people following us around who claim to not listen to us, who claim to not like anything that we have to say or anything that we stand for. Your obsession, just like this dude in the back chat, is just, I, I, it's crazy. You got better it's, stuff to worry be, about. Now, I mean, It's the, not healthy. I'm sorry, the, go ahead. No, it's okay. I, I'm, just, I'm still taken aback by the fact that that last video will be ignored. I heard 12, 13, the first nigga said 10, and you getting cut up on a table at 8.30 at night to get him because make no mistake about it that's who you're getting it for you ain't getting it for nobody else you're not fixing to play in my face you're gonna play in other people's face but i know exactly why y'all cutting y'all bodies up and looking crazy and dressing like drag queens hey don't get me started yes ma'am i had a comment on the last video too that was absolutely fucking disgusting and unfortunately, I wasn't surprised by the mammy saying that because I know we can't get into it too much up here, but we we have touched on in the past. That community has a sick, excuse me, my bad. That community <laughs> almost talked like they, they was normal, but that community has a sick, nasty obsession with adultifying children. They uh, The women do it with their thuns and they they treat them like they're their men and they, they call them handsome and they act like they're not like toddlers and it's extremely inappropriate. It's a cultural thing. It's very fucking nasty and degenerate. And that's why I, I always say they love to project and, and say that it's white people, that white people do Jer Jerry Springer shit, but it's like, no, they some nasty ass 
it, it's just disgusting. Just look at how they act on Facebook alone. Plenty of other apps, but on Facebook alone, they highlight it all the time. And, and it'd be black women a lot of the time posting their sons and their nephews and talking about how handsome they are and just adultifying them. And it's extremely disgusting. So I'm, I wasn't surprised. Let's just say white people are disgusting. Let's, let's say that. Why y'all disgusting? You want to use that as an excuse to be disgusting? Fuck everybody else. Let me ask you something, black people. Why the fuck are you disgusting? You can't give me a real answer to that. Anyway, ladies, meet me behind this wall. God damn it. See y'all in Discord and y'all have a great weekend. Bye. 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 Happy Easter to those who celebrate. That part. Nasty asses.